Hey everyone, um, uh, I just wanted to show you some cool stuff. Uh, there's a cool program I figured out, and it's called Audacity. A U D A S I T Y, Audacity. And it's basically, basically an audio changer that um, can change your voice to different pitches and tempos and speeds, uh, and all the audio that you can just change. And uh, you can split the audio from the video and change it, and then enter it back into your video. And it won't speed the process up. It'll be a normal video, look like you're doing the normal thing, except um, uh, it'll be a different pitch, tone, or anything. So uh, what you do is you do a start, Internet Explorer. Um, sorry, just take off. Go to Google. Uh, type in Audacity and uh, I love that, sorry. Uh, go to this one, free editor. Uh, download 1.3.7 beta. Click that. Click download. It'll bring it down here. And you click uh, whichever one you saw you have, you can click this one. And then it'll bring you to this. For mine, it comes up here. Right click and say download file. And then it'll ask you where you want, if you want to run to save. You want to save it uh, in wherever. I already have downloaded it, so I'm not going to save it. But you just click save and then it'll download. When you're done with that, exit out. And you go to it. Uh, this is just some tips getting started. Okay. Um, basically, you got your pause, play, stop, uh, beginning of video, ends of video, record, your length of the video. This is the um, the output level meter and the input level meter, the volume input, and all these different options you can play with, and the debug or play at speed certain speed, file, edit, view, transport, track, generate, effect, analyze, help. Alright, so I'm just going to show you what this can do. Um, Alright, let's go to record, and I'll just make a test run. See so guys, this is really cool. It's a really cool thing you can do. Uh, obviously, it really helps you if you want to change your pitch. and You know, I mean, some people think Fred do this. I think it's his real voice. I don't know. But yeah, this is a way to change your voice to sound like Fred. So yeah, here it is. Um, all right, that's it. And then you hit stop. And this is important. Go down here, uh, and uh, click click right there. So this is highlighted. Then go up here to effect. Go down to change pitch. And all this will pop up. Don't do anything with any of this stuff except for where it says percent changed. Don't this 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 when you move it from side to side it gets confusing. So uh, I I just keep it where it is. Don't use this. Use this. Um, when you go into the positives, it's a, uh, a a higher tone like Fred's. When you go into the negatives, it's a lower tone and a deeper tone. So and you can um you can also uh, preview the first three seconds of the video right here. So let's just say I do. 40. Preview. See, guys, it's really cool. It's a really cool thing. See? Or if I do negative 40. See, guys, it's really cool. It's a really cool thing you can do. Let's see how it doesn't speed up the process at all. And really, you can do it to any level of your capacity that you want. Uh, preview. See, guys, it's really cool. It's a really cool thing you can do. Or negative 80. Um. You don't really want to go that far with the negatives. Usually, if you want a low voice, the best would be about negative 25. See, guys, it's really cool. It's a really cool thing. Uh, up to negative, I'd say, 35 to 45. Sorry, 45. See, guys, it's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, see, even 45. Even negative 45 is a little too much. So, negative 35. See, guys, it's really cool. It's really just cool. about right for low. And then, um,. When you're going to the positive for high, I'd say the highest one to go up to would be 
60. Yeah, I'm really cool. It's really cool thing. Unless you've got something where you need a certain pitch to it. But yeah, other than that, I would go up to that. So let's say it's 60. Press OK. Remember, don't touch any of this, otherwise, it'll mess it up. Only this. Press OK. It loads real quick. Alright, now let's listen to what the whole thing sounds like. So yeah, this is really cool. It's really cool thing. You know, uh, obviously it really helps you if you want to change a pitch. And, you know, I mean, some people think Fred did this. I think it's your voice. I don't know. But yeah, this is a way to change your voice to sound like Fred. So yeah, here it is. Um, Alright, that's it. That's and uh, yeah, that's, that's what it would do. Um, and then you basically just file save project as uh, if you save it onto project as it can only save as an audisti file and only audisti can play these audisti files so I wouldn't do that if you're going to use a different program so what you do is to um, to uh, like uh, be able to put it on different programs like Windows Movie Maker or CyberLink Power Director or any of those you know Adobe After Effects all those editors you go up here to file go down here to export It'll say all this, just say OK, it doesn't really matter what that says. And then you choose what file you want to export it to. Um, the best files are the WMA, they'll usually play on everything. So you go to my documents, you'll play on that. Uh, other compressed files that if WAV is also, uh, that's another good one. But um, then you'd say save. I'm just going to hit cancel. And then you can save it and you can add it onto a video. And then, yeah, so Audacity really helped me in making some of the videos I made. Uh, I haven't really played around with uh, the other options too much. I'm normally just going to change pitch. But you can amplify, you know, all this different stuff. You can fade the voice in or fade the voice out. And you can also, the thing is, you can also do this to music. So here, let me just edit, delete, open. Um, Say my music, iTunes, iTunes music. Let's say I wanted I'm Yours by J or no, not I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. Um, let's say you wanted um, you're gonna go far kid by uh, The Offspring. Uh, it'll load for a second, import all of it, and then once it's imported, as you can see, it's a lot of stuff, and it goes on. That's the whole song. And you can change the zoom in on this uh, somewhere up here or down here. There's different ways to change how how uh, close you zoom in. There's options up here. So this is this what it would sound like. Alright, so let's stop that. Click here. It's very important. Let's click here. Uh, it, can just, it's, it can say it's different things. It'll, some could say mono. Mine's the stereo. Uh, effect, change pitch. So this is what it sounds like. Norm normal. Now let's do 25. And once you get around 40, it's like, you know, chipmunk. Let's do 40, okay. Now let's, uh, after it loads up, let's listen to some of it. So as you can see, it's a very effective program, and it can work on any 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 audio basically. Um, so yeah, it's obviously a great program, and it works really well for me. So yeah, I uh, uh, hope you liked the video, um, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, Nate signing off. Bye.